Hello and welcome to the Knackered Golfist. Um, I have, in the last few days, been experimenting with some different sort of putting stroke. And I usually, on the practice screen, I've been using it for putts that are less than five feet. Usually it's a second putt. Um, I'm not good at short putts, comebacker putts, after making my first putt on a green. And using this technique has helped me, I think, um, help me improve that. Um, the recent golf green conditions in the last two weeks hasn't been that great because in my area, late March, early April is airifying season and um, you can't expect perfect conditions on greens because that's a cultural practice that golf courses have to do for the greens to stay alive throughout the year. So it's to uh, alleviate compaction, improve aeration in the soil, and also help uh, water penetration in the green. And it's it encourages the, the turf to make new roots for the summer. So um, that is, that's normal for this time of year. So anyway, I've just been practicing. So uh, in a nutshell, it's sort of like a, um, it's sort of like a, a side saddle kind of a stroke. And um, it's been something that, it it's promising, I think, it's promising. So if I can explain, um, whenever I hit my approach putt, it's usually right-handed. And I'm using, I'm using my bullseye. And this, this technique can only be done with a bullseye because other putters are only one-sided. In my case, I have to use both sides of the putting stroke or the, of the putter blade. So you can either use like a Ping 1A or a Spalding Cash-In or a Cushionet Bullseye or Scotty Cameron Bullseye, whatever you want to uh, accomplish this. So, so, the, so, you, so what I've been doing with the second stroke is that I set up um, sort of like a side saddle kind of position and I basically have the putter blade in front of me like this and I'm able to have my hand I'm able to have my hand down here and I'm able to make this kind of a stroke it's not a, a croquet style Sam Snead kind of a stroke because it's not in between the legs it's on the side so I would think that it's legal doing it this way but I mean, it, I'm, I tend to be, it's more consistent if I do it like that. So anyway, give it a try. And if you have, make a comment on um, your findings of the technique, let me know. And thanks for watching the Knackered Golfist. First putt is usually like this, right-handed. So it's sort of like a left-handed side saddle because I putt normally right-handed and when I do my comebacker putt it's usually left-handed. So that's sort of the style that I came up with. So I don't know. Hopefully it'll work. Thanks for watching the Knackered Golfist. So a few tweaks that I was able to figure out is that you need to have your elbows to your torso and you don't need to hold it down here. You can hold it here at the end. Of the putter grip and it helps to have one of these super strokes with the counter weighting on it and then you just go back and through that's all it takes and with as many mosquitoes that are eating me I still made three in a row so thanks for watching